several other individuals. Hizmet vermeye başladı ve Taksim'de tamamıyla hayat normale döndü. Житло, освіту, відпочинок – це список досить довгий. Але єдине, чого позбавлені діти, про яких ми зараз вам розкажемо. The school CEO Barbara Bird Bennett also released a written statement today. She spoke of hoping for a very smooth and safe transition. And the kids came out today, there were some great ones, and they all went, yeah, it's cool. So our pipe is cool, we like it. And what a great film that was from Bob Paley. 14 second chance points. Yeah, that's really big for Washington. Off those 11 offensive rebounds. Good hustle from Dwight. Dwight, help me back there early. Who got Dwight? Shaq, Shaq. I want to say one thing to you, Shaq. Don't ever disrespect Houston like that again. Don't ever disrespect Houston. Horse, 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 And you have a micro mini pony. Ooh. Look at you, how strong you are. What is your name? Oh. Okay. He worked out earlier today. The decision was made that he just could not go, and it was better to let him rest up for perhaps game number six so that he'll be ready for Friday night. But he did have time to, after the game to visit uh, and uh, give us his thoughts. If I could just borrow that for a moment, Charlie, because I'm going to take uh, uh, you're right to get off. Do you need a hand? Oh, oh, oh yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, man. That is not <laughs> Yeah. It's Sorry, rough. Uh, and if you're not really into the tree lighting thing, you should still come down here because this well, architecture. Oh, Tell us great. a little bit more. Well, the seaport's a lot more than just shopping. I mean, yeah. it's a neighborhood, and there's so many different places you can hang out. You can just come and be by the water. All you right. can take a boat. If you could stop waving for a second. Petronia Puswan has been there all day. So Petronia is uh, party in full swing yet? It is definitely in full swing. It's close to 9 o'clock and thousands of people are out here. It's like New Year's Eve out here in downtown Summerlin. A lot of people are here celebrating. Governor Brian Sandoval was even up here in this part of the valley. Back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend, the zombie, Jonathan. You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. All right. You're great zombie. And Good times here at the Waterfront Village, open for the next 11 days. I don't see any more bitches yesterday. Yeehaw! I don't see any more bitches yesterday. Really, really, you think I got scared in my bitches yesterday. Yeehaw! I was wondering what was in your britches. All this time, it was spirit. Okay, that's what I'll tell my wife next time when she complains. We just came from shopping at La Cetane. It's the only store that's open on 86th Street because my man here did so well on his test. He just wanted some hand lotion, and we went up and got it, but now they're closing. Now, let me ask you. You, you, you got good marks, and, <laughs> and you wanted hand lotion? I guess because it's cold, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. We're going to make sure our hands stay moisturized. <laughs> Have a great night. Andrew, are you excited for pre-kindergarten? Yes. Why? I don't know. Are you going to miss your mom? No. No? <laughs> oh, don't cry. Are you? <laughs> and now they will light the first light of Hanukkah. Rabbi Bleifeld, uh, this is Richard Scher, and uh, we'd like you to explain the significance of Hanukkah, if you would. This begins our eight-night festival of religious freedom in a festival of rededication. But because we of the Jewish community share in the concern for the hostages being held in Iran, for they too are suffering under a contemporary form of religious tyranny. All flights are canceled at the Westchester County Airport in Harrison and Stewart in Orange County. And if you're trying to fly out of JFK or LaGuardia, well, no luck there either. They're both closed and won't be open until later this afternoon. Thousands of passengers across the East Coast, of course, had to alter their plans. And we spoke to one kid who was trying to cope with the delay. I'm just sitting there on my iPod. It's just so frustrating. I want to be in Florida getting a tan on my back. Can we go back to March 17th, that day that those text messages were exchanged between Josie and Wayne? You were in school with Josie. You, you heard about the texts? You saw them? I only saw two. You saw two? Did you see the one where he threatened her to kill her? No. You did not. Which ones did you see? Um, the one where he, she calls him a rapist and she calls him a cunt. I mean, he calls her a cunt. Okay. Um, 
We just have to be careful with our language, okay. but that's all right, sweetheart. To describe uh, what you hope to achieve by today's event. Well, I think today is the second stage. <laughs> <laughs> so that would have almost been terrific. <laughs> uh, Joseph, is that all right? <laughs> sure. oh, she's going to ruin your mic. What do you hope to achieve by today's event? Well, today is a follow-up of the song. <laughs> <laughs> we need I think that. We're in trouble here. I think we're holding. Yeah. <laughs> a song done by the children's entertainers about the United Way as it is. Before we toss it back, we got to go to the Drew, the farm kid. <sighs> How you doing there, Pally? Right now, you know, I know he can't say anything right now, but you know what he's saying right now? E, 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 e <laughs> equals MC squared. Get the camera off my face. I'll take this cantaloupe. Oh, no. Oh, oh Dan, don't I'd make, make a him politician. cry. That's terrible. I love that kid. Way to go, Dan. Way to make a baby boy cry on live television. Way to go. Oh, my God. Oh, he's happy now. He's happy. I could walk away. Happy because you walked the away. Hours, conferring <laughs> with the flowers, <laughs> consulting with the rain. Oh, okay. We're, we're just going to, let's just cut that just while have we're in. That. Just, okay. Have you been waiting a long time? Too long. His excitement got the better of him when his uncle did arrive. <laughs> Hold on a second. What did you think about the ride? It was great. And apparently, Dad. I've never been on live Dad. television before, but apparently sometimes I don't watch the sh I don't watch the news because I'm a kid and apparently every time <laughs> apparently grandpa just gives me a remote after we watch the Powerball. It's the Powerball. <laughs> Tell me about the ride. What did you think about the ride? Well, it was great. Why? Because apparently you're spinning around, and apparently every time you get dizzy, yeah. that's all you do is get dizzy. Is it fun? <laughs> yeah. And I've never, ever been on live television. I never, ever be on live television. Are you excited? Yeah, and apparently I only went down the super slide. When I went down the wall, I was scared half to death. I just freak out. Zooming out, though, other areas of town are still looking great right now. No other problems. Do you leave me my girlfriend? <gasps> sure. Isn't that nice? Oh, wow. thank you so much. I, I'm so excited. I happened to tell him you weren't weren't dating anybody, so anyway, I just uh, oh. feel a little uncomfortable. Are you sure you want to take me? Yeah. I mean... She's, she's pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> vouch for her. Pretty good gal. Anyway, y'all worked that out later. Uh, we got some, some work to do here. And she said yes. So, so, oh, uh, you stay right here. It's okay. <laughs> no, you're tempted to follow her. I uh, had the same problem growing up, I guess so. So did we say hi to everybody you want to say hi to? You still looking at Britain over there? Yeah, yeah. yeah she's over there. We'll, we'll get to her in just a little bit. I think you need to say goodbye with us <laughs> together. She keeps okay. looking at you over there. Anyway, I'll let you two uh, go off together. Oh. I think, can, do you mind introducing her to your parents? Mm -hmm. I think it's probably a good idea. Hold her hand. Hold her okay, hand. Take her over go. there to meet the parents. Matchmaker, matchmaker. Aww. Let's look at our weather. Uh, we had believed 100% that he was on board. And Falcon was really in the garage this whole time. Uh, uh, I don't know if Falcon can hear me, but was he, because uh, I know at some point he fell asleep in that garage, but he was hiding out because he thought you were going to punish him for something that happened earlier in the day. Uh, did he hear anything? Did he hear you screaming out, Falcon, Falcon? Uh, he's, he's asking Falcon, did you hear us calling your name at any time? Hmm? You did? You did? Why didn't you come out? Um, you guys said that um, we did this for the show. Yeah. No. You didn't um, come out? No. Um, Mom. One of the guys told me it was for some uh, TV show. So. That's what he was referring to. That's what he was referring to when uh, he made that uh, statement. 
And, and I know I, wa I want to point out that uh, the sheriff's office said last night that they believe your account of what happened, but, but they do want to question you a little bit more. Now, finally, we have to lose. Now, you tried out a few instruments before taking on the keyboard, is that right? Yeah. But you settled on the keyboard and a great suit. Yeah. A hot, powder blue, Safari linen suit. suit. Old school, Very bro. Very stuff Old with school. the bow tie. All right, Sarah, show us what you can do. Off you go. Get into it. All right, this is going to be cool. I, I've got a feeling. How good's an organ? This is a big finish. Love an organ cup. Hmm? Someone turn the power on. There we go. That's ever been done on national <laughs> television. What have you ever heard say? <laughs> well, we've done it all now, haven't we? When you, I, I understand that you think that it teaches poise, you think that it teaches stage presence, but when you see the video that we, <laughs> when you see the video that we just looked at, do you see poise or do you see sexploitation? Um. That video just looked like people kind of dressing up for Halloween costumes. Um, but Marcy, these are four-year-olds. They're five-year-olds. They don't understand I they're, look, who they're looking like. Well, I personally wouldn't put my daughter in that, I think. Um, I put her in age-appropriate things. So, um, and for her to go on stage, she needs to know the character that she's portraying on the stage. So, would I put her in um, Julia Roberts' Pretty Woman? No. But you think it's okay, you think it's okay for Kalia to see herself, as she's without a doubt doing, um, <laughs> as someone much, much older than a five-year-old. Someone more like a young adult. Um, you know what? She hasn't really, as you can tell, not acting like a young adult tonight. No, that's fine. <laughs> she's acting like a five-year-old. But on the stage, you know, it's just like with any other... The dancers that go on stage. I mean, she's growing up in the entertainment world. Okay. Kalia? Hmm? Hey. Hi. Hi. What do you like to do best? What Me. makes you happiest to do? I don't know. No, really. What do you like to... What, 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 what makes you happiest? Do you like being on stage with all the makeup? Yes. Do you like it more than playing out on the playground with other girls and boys? Yes. Why? Okay. Look at me. Why? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? It's okay, Marcy. We still have your microphone on you. I know. Yeah. The, I know yes. the clip fell, but the mic's still there. You don't know, huh? Yeah, I don't. When know. is hey hey Kalia? Kalia, please what? look at Mr. Young. When is mommy? When is mommy really happy with you? What what makes mommy happy? I don't know. Okay, well, I get that. <laughs> Mom, I mean. Do you, Mom, do you, do you understand what psychologists say? That many psychologists think that this is really more about you than it is about her. That, hmm. that, that really it's, it's Mom trying to get what she didn't become out through her daughter and hope that, that she does become something. You know, for us, no. I mean, I was an XFL cheerleader. I was a magician's assistant. You know, my husband has worked in the shows for many years. Mm -hmm. So for us, it just kind of goes with the territory. So Kailia, she likes to perform on the stage. And it's well, just, she sure does. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. And she likes to do talent. I mean, she likes to <laughs> she likes to do it all. So, I mean, for those critics, they have children that are in the pageants. Now, do they? But they also say, and this is, and, and, and they also say that Kalia is learning to grow up with excessive attention. And when that attention finally goes away, she won't know what to do. That depression follows that. That that there are a lot of disorders that can follow that because. She gets so much attention now. She's always had attention. Yes, so, that's the issue, they say. Too um, much. I don't think there's ever too much attention that a child can have. Okay. So, I mean, she's had, you know, two older brothers that have been in it. Okay. And would you put her back? i got to go, but would you put her back on toddlers and tiaras if they asked you? 
In a very positive sense, yes. All right, all right. Thank you.